This is our motor up Pipe Creek to Pipe Key. Very flat and calm. The wind speed is about seven to eight knots right now. Seas are great. We just motored the whole way. Really looking forward to this place. Looking to spend at least a night, maybe two here. Did you have a good day today, guys? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part? Seeing the bald tiger eagle. We saw an eagle of some sort. Uh, some, some, some sort of eagle. And we also saw an eagle ray in the water. Mm -hmm. That was really so cool. Really big one. It was really cool. We're anchored right in front of Little Pipe Key in Pipe Creek. It's a beautiful place. There's a sandbar back there. It's high tide now, so you can't see it submerged. We came in at low tide and it was like just a sand dune. Then we dingied around, found some interesting things. Mm -hmm. We found a swing. Ooh. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it was really cool. The kids like playing around in that. Now we're enjoying dinner. Shannon made some quesadillas. Very tasty. Mm. And here's the sunset. Very nice here. Yeah. This almost looks fake. So nice. Sunset right there. Ooh. Having a nice dinner. Helm's <laughs> blocking it. Nice backdrop. Hear the birds, a little bit of wind. Very calm waters. Some lapping of the waves. And soon a big jet yeah. boat is going to pass by. Tomorrow morning. Spent a nice night at Pipe Key or Pipe Creek. Played around on sandbars today. And now we're going to Stanhill Key. Yeah, took the paddleboard out for the first time today. It was really nice. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Now we're going to famous Stanhill Key. Stanhill Key is probably. Well, we're, going, we're going to the famous Pig Beach. Yeah, at Stan, close to Stanhill Key. That's where the famous pig beaches. I think there are a lot of pig beaches, right? Everett told me today on the paddleboard that uh, after I see pig beach, I'm not going to want to eat bacon anymore. 
<laughs> he's very decided. He's decided. I told him that's not the case. <laughs> um, I will still eat me. Staniel Key is right in the middle of the Exumas, the halfway point, right, between sure. north and south yeah. Exumas. And then after this, the next big city is Georgetown, Great Exuma Island. So this is a little bit of a stop. It sounds like there's uh, services, we can get some provisioning, fresh produce, we'll see. Probably still pretty expensive. Yeah, we'll pick up some though, because we're out of everything fresh. That'd be nice to get some fruit or something like that, some vegetables. And there's a lot of stuff to do at Staniel Key. And not being on a charter, we get to spend as much time as we want there. Yay. So I think we'll hang out there for a couple of days is what I'm thinking. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. Ah, very flat. Calm day today. No wind, one knot right now. This is what's happening. About six knots, two engines on at a leisurely 1800 RPM. We're just motoring down, charging our battery again. We should make some water too. Yeah, go check the water. This is what the video looked like that Cody sent me of them going from Bimney to Mackie Shoal. Oh. It looked just like this. Just glass. And this is what they did. They just motored all day because the water was like glass. Well, we wished our Gulf Stream crossing to be oh like. Oh my God. That was the absolute worst. To be like this, then we wouldn't have had the experience. We were like, oh, Gulf Stream. We crossed the Gulf Stream at 25 knots of wind. That's ridiculous. No, that's good. That is, no, that's not. Well, good. otherwise, if you like this, we're like boring. Oh my God, rather Gulf this. Stream's oh nothing. Then we'd be scared of 10 knots of wind. We'd be scared of 15 knots no, only. Oh no. Did, that did, we didn't need that experience to not be scared of wind. Like, do we need, do we put up our sail or not? 15 knots of wind, oh no. That was just stupid. Before we go, I'd like to record this momentous occasion. Up on the dinghy. Everybody, everybody. What's the plan right now? We're going to Pig Beach. Ever since we saw the Bahamas and Exumas, Pig Beach was very famous because you know why? There's pigs here. And Sierra loved pigs. Did you want to come see pigs, Sierra? Yeah. <laughs> and now since we arrived, what do you guys want to do? See pigs. We're on our way to Pig Beach now. Daddy just got on the boat from untying us from our boat and mom's gonna drive us over to Pig Beach. to Staniel Key to check out the town, get some groceries, Dump stop our garbage. garbage. How long have we had this garbage for? Like two weeks. Two weeks we did pretty good. Since we left Nassau on January 1st. Gotta fit through this little opening here. Staniel Key Yacht Club. Looks like a nice cute little place. Secret swing. This is our grocery shopping trip today, Everett. What did we get? We got two dozen eggs. A pack of lettuce, some burger buns, and ice cream. How much did this cost? $54. US dollars. That's it. Holy moly. Today is Today, when the, uh, the ship came in. come in. Yeah. Today is Saturday at Staniel Key, so a lot of fresh produce today. For just this, it was $36. $36 US. About 50 bucks Canadian right there. There's Everett, off on his own. 
being all by himself out there. He's a little boy, but he's a big boy now. Thunderball Grotto. Hi, Caleb. Hello. So our neighboring boat, Momentum, is going to join us today. Show us around. He's been here, so he'll be the guide. The Sling Spear was a last minute purchase before leaving Florida, and I finally had a chance to try it out lobstering with James from Anomaly. We took the dinghy out for several hours around the majors, but did we catch anything? Ed's first lobster by hand. It's a beauty. Nice. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's huge. <laughs> got him. Who do you think? <laughs> you got him? Yeah, that iguana just ate that crap. <laughs> 